We're in the lobby of the Power Center right now. And interestingly, we're in the lobby because we can't be in the theater because they're in the middle of a light focus right now as they prepare for the premiere preview performances of Einstein on the Beach. I was in the theater a couple days ago and we were talking about the fact that Einstein was really never even intended for a theater that's this small. It's really an opera house epic scale work. They figured out how to make it work here and in many ways it might end up feeling like um, a chamber experience of a very large scale theater piece, but the, the specific technical challenges are something Jeff's uniquely um, able to address, and they are many. So if we're getting to the nuts and bolts of it, as Michael mentioned, um, the venue is, is really quite small for a production this scale. What we did in preparation was uh, strip the theatre back as far as we absolutely could so that they were walking into an empty space. We had to um, expand the playing space, if you will. Um, that involved bringing machinery in, drilling and anchoring points into the, into the upstage wall, and doing all sorts of rigging in order to accomplish that. One of the challenges with that is that none of us has ever worked on this show before. And so we are going blind off of plans and a best case scenario from the company and in many cases, they still weren't absolutely sure what it was that they were hoping for yet themselves. Robert Wilson's a really multi-dimensional artist. So much of the visual impact of his work on stage is defined by and through the focusing of lights and the gradation of color. What makes this light plot extraordinary is, is the psych lighting. Um, the psych lighting is when, when you see a back wall that's, that's just washed in color and it can, the color can, can, can change and fade and, and get sunsets and sunrises, that sort of thing. Um, you typically have a bar on the top and a bar down on the floor. Well, we've got three bars of psych lights. In addition to these bars, the three bars that we've got, two of these bars are double hung. And so what that means is that directly underneath is that you've got another entire bar of light. And as Michael was saying, it just goes to show the importance of the gradation, the importance of the, of the color saturation. I should expect we'll spend several days focusing one look. A lot of the technicians who are working on this piece actually worked on the last time that it was that it was uh, presented and you know they not only do they want to come back they couldn't wait to come back because it made such an impact on their lives um, is that going to happen to all of us working on it you know I don't know probably not I hope it happens to me finally she spoke do you love me, John, she asked. You know I love you, darling, he replied. I love you more than tongue can tell. You are the light of my life, my sun, moon, and stars. You are my everything. Without you, I have no reason for 